Holy mackerel, is this actually legitimate? Guys, it looks as though the price may be sinking to a new level, but what key levels are we still at right now? Why are these levels so critical? And in fact, if we did get a pullback to some key areas we're gonna be talking about, again, another super bullish setup. It does not feel like it right now, you guys. But man, after I show you these charts, you guys are gonna feel enlightened and think, wow, maybe this actually is the mega setup moon shot that we've all been waiting for. Currently, we're actually sitting right at the CME gap, guys. Absolutely filled that. Very critical thing we have to keep in mind, okay? A lot of you guys love tracking that. So again, a lot of people obviously were expecting this as of Sunday, and we did get it, guys. We have to keep that in mind. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is why we're still holding where we're at. Why have we not dropped lower just yet? What does it mean if we drop lower? Is any of this good? Does any of this mean anything good? Let's get into it. Wow, wow, wee wow. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on, in fact, what is to be known as the final day of not only 2019, but the final day of the decade. Wow, thank you guys so much for joining me here for this very special episode. And what a perfect way. Uh, we are actually giving this treasure, the sealed treasure away in this video, so stay tuned for that. More importantly, guys, does that mean that you cannot leave a comment to enter since we're giving away this episode? That's where you're wrong, Buckos. As I talked about in my last video, I have two treasures coming for the next giveaway. So very exciting for that. So this will be the first video to enter for those ledgers. Okay, we're giving away a Ledger Nano X and a Ledger Nano S. Super awesome. Uh, so just leave a comment to enter as usual, guys. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, ding that bell, and let's get into it. We just cut right to the chase in this video because basically we're gonna jump right into the TA and right into the data. Now guys, if you've been following along with these markets and with the channel in particular, you know that we're in, in somewhat of a slight pullback. It's actually best illustrated here in the daily chart for Bitcoin. But when you look at this other chart that I pull up, and that's where I wanna show you some of these very interesting patterns, it doesn't really look as clear cut Okay, so as of the last two days, we've dropped from about $7,300, $7,400. Currently, we're about $7,162. But we're at a very critical level. And now when you look at this chart, I actually do think it's necessary that we extend these middle, this top middle descending channel line, as well as this bottom middle de descending channel line right here, guys. Uh, clearly, okay, so, so far we've actually still been holding along this. We spent a lot of time talking about this in the last last two videos actually was how significant this support was right here guys okay and in fact today same thing happened we've gotten a bounce so far but what does this mean what are the next moves and that's where i want to kind of transition to this chart this is a daily chart uh, and actually for a better representation of this we'll switch to the four hour okay so one okay one possible potential thing that we've been seeing uh, in terms of a bullish pattern besides this descending broadening wedge here is this which is a potential formation of a uh, inverse head and shoulders okay this would be the first shoulder here okay this would be the head right here and then basically we would see to, to form this we would have to see ourselves come down okay guys and then what happens in an inverse head and shoulder that's when the breakout would occur now this is very important here guys an inverted head and shoulders as a reversal pattern in a downtrend which is a bullish the in, it's a bullish pattern Okay, so I just want to show you a little bit about this. The inverted head and shoulders pattern signals a bottom in this chart here, while the left shoulder actually dipped a bit lower than the head in this example, which we actually don't have that in our example, which is better. It just makes it more confirmed and more realistic and true to the actual pattern. Um, it says here, everything else appears textbook in its formation, diminished volume on the bottoms and an increase in volume on the breaking of the neckline. We are potentially going to see that after, we, we would need one more dip if this were to actually be a, a true pattern here. So you see that here. So the neckline is never completely horizontal on the chart here. You can see it sloping down a little bit. And again, this pattern here actually isn't very pretty. It's not a very good looking pattern. As it said here, the left pattern right here, the left shoulder actually dipped lower than the head, which is not a true, you know, like a perfect textbook inverse head and shoulders. Now what we have potentially on this chart would be much closer to a good looking inverse head and shoulders. Clearly, this is where the first shoulder is and the head is lower. Okay, so the head went all the way down to 64.22, and this went all the way down to 65.32. So the head did actually go lower, so that's a good sign there. Um, something else we need to keep in mind that the neckline, it actually is sloping down a little bit overall. This is what it looks like. It's a very down sloping, okay? And so again, what does that mean, though, overall? What does it mean for the pattern? For this to be a confirmed pattern, we would need to see further downside. Okay, guys, if this is actually the pattern going on, 
then we would see some pullback. And right now, what we've seen is not nearly enough if it's actually going to be the pattern. So that's one bullish pattern lying amongst the, the wreckage of right now, what's going on in the cryptocurrency community. So that would be one signal. But in fact, what we're seeing, uh, it, the market's being a lot more resilient. So on the four hour here, you can see that this area, 7150 roughly, has been absolutely just kind of like the heart line of this pattern here on this on this four hour chart going back for the past month really back to november the last week or two of november this has been such a key critical area here and right now on the four hour chart as over the last four hours we have been down sloping here there have been some consolidations and sometimes and in fact right now it's actually been a slight bounce who knows if that'll last but this area has been very robust okay and again if we zoom out you can see this entire zone has been very robust so really to cut to the chase for this pattern, the lowest, or the, sorry, the highest that I think that this could go and still remain, or actually kind of hold true to the, the, the uh, inverse head and shoulders here, would be maybe around the 68. And again, it could go lower. It, as long as it did not go below like the 64, 63, then that would remain intact in my opinion. I think we can see a strong bounce out of that. So if it did go down to like the 6,500 area, let's take a look at what that would look like here on this chart, okay? On the daily chart here on Bitstamp. The $6,500 area would be right around here. Let's say it happens in a few days here. Let's say it happens right around here, okay? Let's say it happens like three three days from now. It would look right about like this on the chart. It would come down to like right about here, okay guys? So say we have here, we have the same pattern here. We say it comes down to about here. And then we have a we have the breakout break along the neckline right around the 7,000 area. Very, very actually close to where we're seeing the price right now. So again, that could be very important as there's a lot, a lot of confluence and a lot of energy, a lot of stuff happening right in that area. So if it would be able to break out of that, again, I think that would be huge. And maybe that would be the actual thing that would cement us above the bottom of this market trend line here. But that's just one pattern to look at. So I don't wanna spend the entire video just talking about that pattern, okay? Something else that we need to keep in mind here is that the middle trend line on this daily chart, because that's on a smaller time frame, although that is on the daily chart as well, we do have the middle trend line playing very key support. Uh, the next area that it could drop to is still the same thing I've had drawn in here for a while now, which would be down to this area, about the 67, 68, okay? And again, even if it dropped only down to that area, that would still be a very valid uh, spot for this inverse head and shoulders potentially to play out before having a breakout. So that could be the very key area there. Now, guys, what I've been saying to you for a long time, this could come into play here. This would be the second of the crazy scenarios here that could still remain bullish. And I don't even want to talk about the last one because that's, you know, we're so far away from it right now that we don't have to mention it and I don't want to waste time on it. But again, down to that $6,000 area, okay? We do have to recognize that we've actually now come down to fill the gap of, and if we put it on the four hour, you can see it's a little bit better, the gap that we had on Sunday, we've come down and we've filled that. As many people were definitely expecting that to happen as it did happen on a Sunday. And guys, you guys know how these futures happen. Very kind of expected there when it comes to that. This was back on the 29th of December. We have the longs continuing to maybe like have a little bit of a tumble. Does that mean, do, are we expecting this to completely come down here? I don't necessarily think so, guys. We could see more of a coiling pattern. I could see that being likely. But either way, I do think that before a massive move up, it is possible and likely and also necessary in this pattern's case to have a more drastic pullback. So you have to watch out for that. Guys, people see red numbers and they think, wow, market's doom and gloom. And they see, and, and likewise, they see green numbers and they think, wow, we're pumping forever. But we have to keep in mind what this red and green is within these patterns. So again, very bullish setup. Very bullish, you guys keep in mind that. And here we actually have small consolidation on the weekly chart that we're still hoping at some point to get us back to that $8,000, $8,200 range. Now guys, I actually wanna point this out to you real quick. This is posted by Magic Poop Cannon. He's very bearish right now. Uh, he actually thinks a big dump is coming and it's much lower than any of the dumps we've seen on any YouTube channels or in fact, most technical analysis in general. He's very bearish and he's getting a lot of heat of it, getting a lot of heat for that right now. But in fact, he also does mention uh, the possibility of a bullish, of bullet, well, there is the bullish divergence on the MACD. It's very, very clear and apparent. There's been a lot of people talking about that recently. Okay, and that could initiate a very short-term breakout. Okay, that doesn't probably mean it will have a much of an impact on a weekly chart. It might be very quick there. He says here, well, there's still a chance technically an upside breakout could occur, considering, especially, he says, considering the bullish MACD divergence and tight convergence of the moving average resistance, I highly doubt that it would amount to anything significant enough to change the bearish downtrend, which he thinks is just absolutely in control, absolutely monumental and overtaking here, guys. 
Now, I don't, I don't agree with this. I don't subscribe to it, but I do just want to point out what he says here. According to this chart, and again, I don't really even like this chart. I see this thrown around a lot. I really just don't put much into this chart. I don't think you can literally just draw a few swoops and it's like, well, all of Bitcoin's history and future are all predicted in one. I don't think that's how it'll go. But he has it coming down to some very, he has it coming down to like 1,000. So I'm not really going to waste it. And, and he uses Elliott Waves, in which, again, there's a lot of controversy and a lot of, uh, pet, I guess, skepticism towards Elliott Waves and how reliable they are, as you can kind of just draw lines where you want them. But I do think the key pattern right now to look at is definitely the inverse head and shoulders potentially forming there. And more importantly, just look how we have consolidated beautifully in these key areas. Uh, I really didn't expect them to hold up this long and I kind of didn't really want them to hold up this long because to be honest, it kind of is more boring when they just hold within certain patterns. It does give us some clues and definitely uh, provides confidence and confirmation to a lot of these patterns and trend lines that we have here. But again, it is kind of boring when when it just kind of just does what we think it will do, but then also just trades, you know, daily uh, within these key patterns. Looking back, it'll look textbook because everything will be in the past. But living day by day, things get a little boring. We want to see some price action. Do you guys know what I mean? So, guys, very cool stuff. Um, kind of a somber update today. But guys, I am so excited for 2020 and all the crazy price action that we think we expect will happen. Absolutely exciting stuff. And without further ado, let's actually just do the giveaway, guys. So keep in mind, this will be the first video to enter for the ledger, okay? So if you guys are interested, definitely leave a comment below to enter for that ledger. Um, so how we do this, uh, I believe the first video is actually this one here. To enter for this one, it was the very beginning of December. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six, that's 18 videos. So you had 18 videos to enter. Okay, so we'll make the max 18 here. That was the default, let's hit generate. So it'll be video number 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it'll be this video here. All right, paste this. Only 54 unique commenters. It's gonna be very exciting because there's not a ton of people for that specific video. And the winner is, wow, winner XRP, BFATS, be chillin with the comment, Mary Trezor Tyler. Wow, so the comment was actually for the Trezor. Awesome, dude, thank you so much for doing it. Uh, all you have to do, just find a way to contact me. First of all, I think it'd be better if you left a YouTube comment right on, on my whatever video, cause I'll get it on any video. Leave a YouTube comment with the best way for me to contact you. That way you're contacting me from this original account. That way I know it's you. Uh, Twitter is a good place to reach me. Twitter, but yeah, just leave another comment uh, with your preferred way of getting me in contact with you and we can do it that way. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm super excited to get these, these ledgers. I'll have them probably uh, by the next video or maybe i think it might be by thursday thursday or friday but guys i'll see you in the next one peace